really cold evening here in Seoul. Um, I've had an interesting day. I started out by going to a rabbit cafe. Then add some food. Finally, I went to a board game shop. So, I'm at a board game shop called Rolling Dice. It's up there. And uh, I'm gonna have a look inside, but as always in Korea, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to find where the entrance is to the place that you want to go. Got an animal hospital, and it does seem to be above it. Where are the stairs or the lift? Maybe in here. good except that it's really really big I don't know how I'm gonna fit in my suitcase but there we are my shop right now I'm gonna head across the street and uh, have some dinner and uh, when I get home I'm gonna tell you all about today's book which is called regarding the fountain so see you then This is Regarding the Fountain, a tale in letters of liars and leaks by Kate Cleese and illustrated by M. Sarah Cleese, who seems to be her sister. This is a very funny and interesting story. This is what we call an epistolary novel. In other words, it's a book or a story written in letters. Essentially, this is a story about how some fifth grade students write to a woman called Florence Waters to ask her to make a new water fountain for them, for their school, because their one is leaking. And as the story goes on, we find out that there are more and more sides to this story and some mysteries and some very bad behavior by some of the grown-ups who are related to this story which happens in a place called Dry Creek 
Missouri. In fact, the story about... In fact, this story about water being stolen or misused in America is not the first of its kind. There are actually some very famous stories about this. One example is the film Chinatown. But overall, this is a mystery novel. It's what you might call a whodunit. Who is responsible for the problems with the water in Dry Creek, Missouri? I like this book a lot because really it comes down to a very simple idea that if you want to do something, the first thing that you need to do is to ask somebody else for help. And if you are a St. Hilary's student, you might recognize that as what happens in our Dream Starter classes. They are really just about asking for help. It's not an easy book to read. There are lots of different, what we might call text types. You've got letters, but you've also got memos, you've got notes, you've got transcripts, you've got newspaper reports. But these are things that might come up for you from time to time in your English study, and they're worth knowing about. It's a very nice book and it ends on a very happy note. I would definitely recommend it to you. But you should know that it can be a little the language can be a little difficult at times.